Welcome to Watch the Endeavor 2SFOC 3.0 installation tutorial video. Pry off one corner of the grip tape and use the H2S3 Allen wrench to remove the 12 fixing screws on the deck. After removing all the screws, remove the deck and you can see the 2SESC. Let's disconnect all the wires on the ESC first. The power cable requires some force to remove. Then disconnect all motor phases. Disconnect the power switch and ESC wires. Note that we need to be careful here to avoid damage. Please pull out the antenna interface vertically. Next, let's remove the four screws on the back of the ESC. We'll need a lot of heat to fully heat it up. Heat the four screws at 450 degrees Celsius for five minutes. If it is still difficult to remove them, please heat them again to avoid damage. After heating, use a 2.5 mm hexagonal wrench to remove the four fixing screws vertically downward. After we disassemble the original ESC, we take out the FOC 3.0. Before installing it, we need to remove the four fixing screws on the back. We adjusted and aligned the screw holes on the back of the FOC 3.0. First installed two screws diagonally to fix them, then took out the blue thread glue and applied it to the screws for reinforcement. Tighten the screws and tighten all other screws with glue to avoid loosening during intense exercise. When reconnecting the wires, you will need to connect the right motor to the left controller wires and the left motor to the right controller wires. After connecting the hall lines, refer to the video and connect the motor phase lines according to the corresponding colors. Green connects green, blue connects blue, yellow connects yellow. These order is very important. The wrong connection will not make the motor rotate properly. Next, we find the wire of the power switch and connect it. Arrange the wires and connect the left motor wire to the right controller. When connecting the antenna, you need to take out the antenna adapter board and heat shrink tube in the package. It will be a bit difficult to connect the new antenna. Please be more patient when installing it and please align the interface vertically to connect it. Put the newly connected antenna and adapter board through the heat shrink tube and connect to another antenna. After connecting, push the heat shrink tube onto the antenna adapter board. Heat the heat shrink tubing so that it can wrap tightly around the antenna. Of course, there are a lot of heat shrink tubes in the package, which we can use to tighten the connection of the motor phase line. 
It is not recommended to use a high-power hot air blower for heating. You can use a hair dryer to avoid damaging other wiring harnesses. Finally, we need to connect the power supply. Be sure to pay attention to the direction of the interface and do not connect it in reverse, otherwise the entire battery will be damaged. Next, let's pair the remote. First turn on the board power, then long press the power button on the right side of the screen to turn on the remote control. Press and hold the power button of the board. When you hear a beep, press the buttons on both sides of the screen with both hands to complete the pairing. Press and hold the power button on the right side of the screen to turn off the device. Then press and hold the buttons on both sides of the screen with both hands to enter the settings menu page. Short press the left and right buttons on the screen to control the up and down movement of the menu options. Push and pull the gear to increase or decrease the value in the adjustment option and long press the power to turn off to save the set parameters in real time. The video ends here. Thank you for watching. We have placed the recommended parameter table in the FOC 3.0 parts page.